friends. I'm going to tell you about Newton's third law. Newton's third law. You see, Newton is a, is a scientist. He has told many things now that now we know. Like, like he he found the rainbow with a prism. He did that. He found the rainbow with a prism. Or he, 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 she told gravity. He told about gravity in space. He told about gravity and, and, and he also told about the, the Newton's third law. So that's what we're going to talk about today. What does Newton, what does that mean? It means for every action you do, there's, for every action you do, there's an action that, there's always a second action to, there's always the opposite second action. For every action, there's an opposite and reaction. Like, what does that mean? What does it mean? I don't know. It means, like, when you're swimming, you put you put your hand like this, and then and then the water pushes you front. It pushes you front, and then that's how you swim, swim, swim. Like how you row boats. You row boats like this, but because because the sting push it like this so so the so the water in, in the water in the lake pushes you forward forward that's how you can row a boat front i'm going to give you an example of birds the birds push the air down so the air pushes the birds up you see that's how birds fly this is the same thing just like birds the rocket the rockets the gas of the rocket or the air of the rocket, it goes down in the lack and then the, and then and then it pushes the rocket up because it's going down. So the rocket also works on Newton's third law. Let's do Newton's third law. I have this balloon. There's a straw in the rubber band is connected to a straw, but we don't need to talk about that. So, so. I'm going to blow it, and then I'm going to hold it tightly, and then let's see what happens. Let's see, have a balloon that's blown now. Let's see what happens to it when we let go of it. Wow! It, it, the balloon is moving everywhere, you see, because the air is pushing it to go here and there. So so when the when people let go of the balloon, it'll, the air will pu push the balloon back, and the balloon will go front. You see, like that's how the balloon is moving now. So this is like Newton's third law. So for every action, there's a different reaction. So when the air balloon goes back, then the balloon goes forward. That's how it works like that to rock it too. Newton's third. So does does just only those things happen on Earth? No, it can happen in space too. You know how that is? Like when the dawn of the Earth, the moon rotates around the Earth, around the Earth, right? But 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 when the Earth makes the moon to do that, the moon also puts a pressure. It doesn't stay like that. So but the moon's pressure can't do anything because the the Earth is much more bigger than the moon. So 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 the Earth so the moon what it do is it just is it just makes waves like like a little little jump on on the on the water of the Earth. So. There's a the there's the first the Earth puts on moon. The moon also puts the first a uh, force on the on the Earth. I hope you understood about Newton's third Newton's Newton's third law now. So I I will be with a with a new video next time for you all to watch on exactly.